8 to the power of 888 certainly wouldn't fit into a standard calculator, so what we need to do is we need to convert 8 to the power of 888 into 10 to the power of something. Now, in actual fact, 8 to the power of 888 equals 10 to the power of 888 log to the base 10 of 8. If we stick 888 log to the base 10 of 8 into any standard calculator, we get that it equals 801.8. 94. Okay, so we know that 8 to the 888 equals 10 to the power of 801.94. Now, 10 to the power of 801 is less than 10 to the power of 801.94, which is less than 10 to the power of 802. And we know that 10 to the power of 801 has 802 digits, which is one followed by 801 zeros. And we know that 10 to the power of 802 has 803 digits, which is one followed by 802 zeros. So therefore, anything in between has 802 digits as well, which is answer B.